Hi folks, I wanted to share our zucchini plants with you this year that uh, they've done really phenomenal this year. We started off originally with three plants. We just put three plants in in early spring after the frost and they're still growing and it's still the same plants and we've had squash bugs and we've had the boring worms. We've had all of that but the plants are strong and they're healthy. In fact, some of these plants have grown the vines. This vine over here that Diane just picked this zucchini from was 12 feet long. And another vine that goes out that way and I've trained it to come back around so it just didn't take over, go where it wanted, is 16 feet long. I just measured it this morning. It's 16 feet long. That's crazy. There are two reasons why we're having that type of growth on these plants. One reason is because I've pruned them. And when you prune something, it tends to grow. So it does, uh, it does well. And the other reason is because this soil is so nutrient rich that the plants have grown like crazy. They've grown more this year than they ever have. There hasn't been a lot of water for most of the summer. And then all of a sudden it started to rain and we got quite a lot of rain. But uh, we've gotten zucchinis all the way through. And like I said, we had squash bugs. So I went through and found, we, we went through often and found the squash bug eggs and pulled them off or squished them and crushed them or, and uh, killed any squash bugs that we could find. But the boring worms, we've had boring worms. And uh, if come take a look here, you can see the trunks you can see these trunks. Let's take a look in here at this trunk. That, that trunk has been just decimated by the boring worm. And you can see here there's actually new holes made by the vine boring worms. Here's a new hole down here too. If I were to pull up on this vine, I'm sure I would pull it right out with no effort at all. And this plant over here behind Diane this one just a couple of days ago was all but dead it was all laying down just lifeless like deflated and um, I, I uh, just left it be and I'm sure what happened is a boring worm got in or several of them got in and just uh, really hit it hard and I left it be and after a few days it perked right back up again. So I pruned off all the, the leaves that were not productive for it. And now look at it. It has fresh, good green leaves, strong leaves. It has new blossom on it. And uh, you won't get that without healthy soil. The soil is so healthy that the plant is healthy enough to, to survive the, um, the boring worms, which I'm just thrilled about. Now, for the pruning of these vines, the vine grows from the end out. And it, it starts, it comes around here, it starts behind me somewhere and it has grown around and the end is right here. And so what you can do, you see the fruit here. Here's a zucchini growing. And you wanna leave the, the leaves that are near the zucchini, you wanna leave them alone. And uh, what I usually do is stay a few inches to a foot back from any zucchini that are growing. But these guys back here, these leaves, I just cut them off like that. Or you can use pruners and cut them off. They cut so easily, I just like to use my utility knife. And then carefully pull them out. And I, again, what I like to do is just turn the leaves over and look for any squash bugs. And if there are, I'll kill them because uh, we don't like having those guys having free reign and set them aside. But then you, you just keep you just keep trimming them off. And you see the stem is hollow. And if you uh, you get back near the, uh, the vine, it won't be hollow. And that's not a bad place to cut it there. So just keep going along. And I'll do that. That's far enough because it's coming up on that zucchini, the, the squash right there. Now, sometimes when I see some that are, it's been so wet 
and the zucchinis are rotting on the vine. We had uh, seven inches of rain two days ago, and uh, the garden did phenomenal. But some of the, you get some rot on the end of some of these, this fruit, and that's okay. The others will come along, just be fine. But where you see a cluster of leaves where they're overlapping one another, you really don't need to have all of that. So what I will do is I'll come along and I'll just kind of take some of those out. Usually the ones that are more on the bottom I'll take out. Now every, every zucchini that has a, a leaf growing above it, I leave that one on there. That's called the sun leaf. And I'll leave that on there until after harvesting the, the zucchini. But some of these others, they can certainly come off. And that way, the blossoms, the pollinators can get to the blossoms. The sun can get in there. And sometimes if you don't do that and you start moving those leaves away, you find you missed a lot of zucchinis that are in there and they got really huge. A lot of people don't like them huge. They make good, but they make good zucchini bread. But uh, yeah, that's what that's what I wanted to share with you about the zucchinis.